Okay. Na yung wala kasi akong so I can talk about paano nga ba pumayat. Kasi ang daming mga Pilipino na, na nag-diet, tapos hindi nila alam yung ginagawa nila. Yung pang, para sa kanila, ganyan ako dati ha, na akala ko yung diet is kakain ka ng maliit, ng food, uh, fruits lang, or like hindi ka kakain ng rice, which is not okay. So first of all, kung gusto mo talagang pumayat is, it's about food the choice of your food. So, uno sa lahat, kung, um, kung hindi ka active, kung nasa opisina ka lang, or wala kang any exercise na ginagawa on that week, it means, like, you need to find out kung ilang cal- calories ang dapat i-consume ng katawan mo. So, for example, um, kakain ako ng 2,000 calories for that day. Kasi nga, um pag kumakain ako ng cake or puro bread lang mas marami yung calories marami siyang calories pero wala siyang um vitamina sa sa mga kinakain mo so calories is not a bad thing the only bad thing is is but new choices ng food mo for example like a piece of small cake siguro mga 385 calories na yan which is kung kakain ka ng wholesome food like um, rice or chicken, mga calories niyan is around like also 380 to 500 calories, depende sa portion na kinakain mo, which is okay because may mga protein doon na makukuha mo, carbohydrates and fat. So, hindi ako, hindi ako, ano ha, hindi ako nutritionist or anything, but I just want to really help like mga Filipino kasi, um, usually, pag nag-diet kayo, parang, di kayo halos kumakain. So, kung gusto nyo really pumayat is dapat il- eliminate nyo yung mga ininom nyo or kinakain nyo. Like alcohol or like especially yung Nescafe dyan or kahit na like 3-in-1 coffee. Sobrang tamis nyan. Like, when I tasted it again, grabe ang tamis. Tingnan nyo ang sugar nyan. Ang dami. So, hindi yan, hindi yan, uh, hindi yan mabuti sa katawan nyo. Kasi, mas marami calories at saka hindi ka nag-workout or hindi ka active, hindi ka sumasaya o hindi ka, wala kang sports na ginagawa. Talagang tatabakan yan. At especially, pag sweets na kinakain nyo, yung fat is actually magsisettle down sa, sa tummy nyo. Kaya ganyan talaga nangyari sa akin. Even now. So, the main idea is you eat healthy. So, you have to eat less sugary foods dami niyan, especially yung mga coffee, green one coffee. So, mga tamis niyan, at saka yung cake, yung mga Starbucks, na ano, maraming sugar yan eh. Hindi yan magalas sa katawan mo. Pero, which is okay lang naman, pag kakain ka ng ganyan, basta, active ka lang so, sa, I mean, in everyday, like, kahit hindi everyday, kahit like, three or four times a week, as long as magagamit mo yung energy. The more mo magamit yung energy, so yung calories mo, mas magagamit din. Kasi, Pag hindi mo yan, pag marami kang excess calories, um, what happen is, it will just, hindi mo nagamit yung energy. So, I say it will store uh, as a fat cell, I mean, as fats in your cells. Okay? So, kaya ako, minsan kumakain ako ng cake, like ngayon, actually. Like ngayon, actually, uh, meron ako, kumain ako ng, like, very little piece of cake. <laughs> but, okay lang, kasi nag-workout ako kanina. Or, nag-workout ako for two hours. I do some skipping rope, and then, nasa gym ako niyan, nasa treadmill, and I also do some lifting, which is very good. So, yeah. So, pag, may, may laman mo yan, pag marami sa kinain na sweets, just go out, go dancing, do some sports, or, you can, sorry, you can do some cardio in the gym, or, well, you can also go running, or, yeah, have fun with your friends. Uh, just as long as yung heartbeat mo is yung parang yung pang yung pang pag pinupush mo sarili mo tapos hindi ka halos makahinga you have to stop and rest but it, it's very good for your blood because it will keep flowing also it means more energy has been used. and also ito ang pinaka-importante kasi akala ko dati pwede mo mas spot yung example gusto mo magkaroon ng flat stomach or abs akala ko dati pag mag, gusto mo magka abs or flat stomach is you just like do a lot of crunches 
hindi yon hindi ganon hindi hindi ka ma, hindi mo mas spot yung um yung fat sa katawan mo all you have to do is you have to do some cardio and also you have to start lifting kasi kung puro cardio ka lang of course marami kang energy na maburn also of course papayat ka niyan kasi nga nagamit mo yung mga calories mo na kinakain mo which is good but also ayaw mo pumayat na parang super skinny mo you also need to build some muscles so dapat balance yan Uh, you can do some cardio and choose which day is best for you. And then, you have us to do lifting para magkagrow na ka ng muscle. So, actually, akala ko rin dati, ha, na magkagrow yung muscle mo a lot if sobrang lifting mo, which is not true. Um, It's only for bodybuilding. Like, it's, like, hindi talaga yung totoo. Kasi maraming mga Victoria's Secret models na nilift na weight. So, don't be afraid to lift weight because it's really good it's nice to like have muscle definition it means like you're very strong especially kung gusto mo lalaki yung pwit mo or uh like nice back it's really good to start lifting because you, you you do cardio but uh maborn yung fat mo through cardio you cannot spot reduce hindi mo mapipili kung saan mo gusto um mawala yung fat mo Tapos, so just do cardio. At the same time, you need to um, build that muscle definition. Para pag, pag nabor mo yung fats mo, magkikita sa magpapap yung muscles mo uh, as long as after mo maborn yung fats. And it doesn't take like day one or it doesn't take one month. Actually, it takes very long time. Actually, ako, hindi ko na talaga na-realize na pumayat ako konti. I mean, hindi naman ako sobra taba. Kaso, Lagi ako pumunta ng gym. Minsan, minsan hindi. Pero, ang problema ko is kumakain ako ng marami talaga. Pero, you have to take pictures before and after. Kahit ayaw mo, you have to take pictures and you just hide it on your phone. And after three months, try my compare. Or after a couple, uh, couple of months, i-compare mo. And you can see actually, um, result. But, I can show you some of my photos. Na, Ah, uh, tinutukoy ko kasi hindi ko talaga na-notice yung changes na katawan ko eh. So, until now, I'm still working on it. So, mayroon ako naging friend. As actually, hindi naman siya mataba. So, medyo chubby lang. Sabi ko sa kanya, you need to take a photo of yourself. Like, you know, like, like a bra or panty ka lang. But just keep it private. At uh, tapos, i-hide mo sa phone mo. And you need to do cardio. And you need to do lifting. Um, also, you need to be very careful if ano yung kinakain mo. So, just do it slowly. Huwag ka mag-diet ng hindi ka kain. Or, and I think it's not good. Because you you need to eat a lot, meaning eating a lot, pero dapat healthy. So it's okay na itrik mo yourself more, but do it like maybe once or twice a week. So yeah, as long as you're working out, as long as um, active ka, as long as pagpawisan ka, and the more your heart beats so fast, it means like you're gamit ng ng yung yung mga energy mo. At saka, I love it because yung blood flow mo is very regular. And very general tips that uh, I mean, I ko ngayon. So uh, maybe I'll make, I'll try and make another part two video. Um, uh, siguro buka for the other, um, uh, maybe next day. And I'll try to be more specific. Cause ngayon ano first time ko kasi magano <laughs> video. So it's just like bored ako. I, maybe I can make friends and we can do some workout videos together. Or yeah, I can share you some of my workout uh routine na ginagawa ko sa gym. But in a way, sorry if naging English ako kasi alam mo may ibang Pilipino na <laughs> so lang naaartihan pa ni English pero nahirapan kasi ako matagal ng kaya naman nabisaya. So, <laughs> get nyo na yun, di ba? Ang hirap talaga sa, para sa akin magtagalog. Kaya, in a way, it's, thanks so much if nanood ka until the end. So, we're just, we're friends now and let me know if you want more um advices or if you wanna be friends.